Welcome to another episode of Thrift Flip where I take you on a journey with me as I transform basic thrifted pieces into eclectic outfits as I revamp my wardrobe. The piece that we'll be working on today is this black dress which is oversized and a two fabric combo. The top being a t-shirt fabric and the bottom being chiffon. I bought it from Think twice and it was in 2021 right after the pandemic and I had put on a lot of weight <laughs> and I did not want anything that was tight on me and it kind of contributed to me adding more weight. But it's time for me to give up the basic card and transform into a body. So let's do this. I start off by laying down the dress and assess what needs to be done. For this one, I wanted to split it into two, so I located the center, marked it, and cut it. I then use a seam reaper to open up the armholes and separate the sleeves from the top. And once that is done, I put the sleeves and the skirt to the side as I focus on the top. I like folding the front and the back at the center front and the center back, which makes it easy for me when I'm cutting, making sure that the left and the right side are both even. So I grabbed my master pattern and got the pattern for the front and the back. But for you, you can use your best fitting vest to do this and if you haven't checked out episode 2 of the thrift flip I'll put a link up there so you can go check it out So I use the pattern to guide me in cutting the excess fabric and making it true to my size. And this fabric is quite stretchy so I wasn't too concerned about allowance apart from the center front because I needed to get some extra allowance for me to put the straps through. Now it's time to pin them together. I do shoulder to shoulder, side seams to side seams, and this makes it so easy when it comes to the sewing process. Moving on to the sleeves, now I want to get straps from the excess fabric on the sleeves at the same time i'll be reducing the size of the sleeves I won't be doing so much on the skirt, I'll just put an elastic band on the waist and that's it. Moving on to the sewing process, now we'll be attaching the front and the back that we had pinned together. I like starting off from one side, moving on to the shoulder, then the next shoulder, then the other side. That makes it so efficient for me. Thank you. 
Once that is done, I snip off the hanging thread, fold it and put it to the side as I move to the sleeves. For the sleeves, I just want to do some hemming and then I'll also put it to the side. Moving on to the straps, now I'll be stitching the small straps into one long strap. Fold and press the sides to form a bias bind. I move on to overlocking the seams that I just stitched and I did press them open off camera. <laughs> And this is what I mean when I said I folded and pressed the straps to form a bias bind. And I'll be using that bias bind to finish off the neckline. As much as this is a thrift clip project, my aim is to make my pieces look as professionally done as possible. On the waistline of the top, I want to make some slits which are 4 inches from the side seam. This will make it possible for me to have a cutout at the front. I'll finish off the raw edges by folding them into two and stitching them just like I did the sleeves. I'll do something a bit different with the center front. I'll start off by folding just one fold and stitching a quarter inch distance. Then I'll do a bigger fold and stitch three quarter distance. That way I leave a gap that I can put the straps through. Then it's time to attach the sleeves to the top. I start off by closing the side seams, then pinning the sleeves into the armhole and stitching them in. It's time to make the long strap, so I snip off the excess fabric, fold it closed and stitch. Moving on to the bottom part of this dress. I start off by reinforcing the side seams because I did cut them open when I was separating the top from the bottom. Then I switch to bigger size stitches because I'm getting ready to gather the bottom. I do one stitch all through and then I pull the string to create gathers. Then I quickly realized this whole process was a waste because I am meant to leave it like that and gather it using an elastic band on the waistline. So I pinned the top to the bottom, aligning them at the seams, so back seam to back seam, side seam to side seam, and leaving the cutout to hang. Then I stitched them together.
I do have a 2.5 inch wide elastic band that I will cut out to fit in the dress. I settled for 24 inches which is about 8 inches smaller than my actual waistline. I did this because it was going to give me beautiful gathers once it stretches out when I'm stitching it. I also decided to cut it into 3 quarter inch wide so that it can fit the dress's waistline allowance perfectly. I then stitched both ends together to create a loop, pinned them on the waistline and proceeded to stitch it onto the dress using the overlock machine. And I did share this technique on my very first thrift flip video that I ever did on this channel. So you can go check it out. So what I do is to pull out the elastic band, align it with the waistline allowance, and then proceed to stitch. Then I overlock the armhole just to ensure that there are no raw edges on this dress. And after folding and stitching the waistband, this is how it looks. I think it turned out so neat and beautiful. So now we are left with inserting the straps and I'll be using a safety pin to do this. When it comes to inserting the straps, I do have two options. I can insert it from the top or from the bottom. When I insert from the bottom, it will be sitting on my waistline. And if I insert from the top, it will be sitting on my neckline. So I do have those two options just to switch it up if I want to. I chose to let it sit on my neckline because that also gives me a wide variety on how to tie it. So yes. And once the strap is in, I just play around with how much gathers I want on my bust area. But this project is done. It took me around three to four hours to complete. And yes, it's done. It looks so good. So, so good. So let's remind ourselves on how the dress was looking before. And here's the after. Oh my God, I think it turned out so cute. I look like a Barbie doll in this dress. <laughs> I like that it's so fun. It's so flirty and sexy at the same time. I think it suits my body so much better this way. And this is a different way you can tie it up with the straps crossing the chest and tying it on the neck. This makes it look like a completely different dress. And with social media not giving us space to breathe when it comes to repeating outfits, this one can catfish the internet and they will never know. How will they know? <laughs> The fact that the bottom is gathered gives me so much room in case I have a food baby or I'm feeling bloated because it's that time of the month. Check out the side to side comparison and tell me which one is your favorite down in the comment section. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Mwah.